I ended up on top of a fire escape. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry. It's not going to happen to me. <laughs> okay. If I'm not going to call the guards over, I'm going to get Jenny to contact your doctor. Okay? No! Jenny can't know about this. She's already worrying enough about me. Well, what do I do then? Because I'm not leaving here, Dad, until I know that you're being looked after. I'll contact the doctor myself. As long as you promise not to tell Jenny anything. I've already promised to tell Jenny everything. Please, love. <sighs> do you swear you'll tell somebody? Yeah. How are we doing? I saw a cat. What? I saw a cat. Over there. She's just losing it. You're in prison, Grandad. No pets. Can you see now? I can't see anything clearly. But I'm sure it was a cat. Well, there's no cat, mate. I know there's no cat, but I saw a cat. What's the doctor say? Oh, I told Carla I was fine. She grasped me. Up. Yeah, well, she's worried about you, isn't she? And if you're seeing men in suits and black cats, then I'm worried about you as well. Ginger. You what? The cat's ginger. You got to tell them all this, you know that. I think I'm cracking up here. Yeah, and that's why you got to ask for help. Just make sure they listen to you. Look, I'm in the magistrates today. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, I know, but listen, if I get bail, then you've got to get whatever this is seen to, yeah? You've got to look after yourself in here, promise me. Yeah. I will. Thanks. Hey, hope I don't see you. <laughs> Any good gossip in there? Not reading, really. Just looking at the pictures. Too knackered. Not easy at number five. Sleeping on that floor is really doing my back in. If I had a quid for every floor I've slept on. It's Billy. Hey, Billy. Yeah, I'm at work. Yeah, that'd be fine. Anytime. You know I've always got five minutes for you. Okay. See you in a bit. You need to fit in for a straight jacket. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Look, the doctor says it might not be psychosis. Please, you need to tell Jenny. Except there's nothing to tell. I have problems with my eyesight, but I feel okay in myself. So you, you're telling me you're not worried about any of this? Of course I'm worried. I just don't want to worry Jenny. Oh, my gosh. Have you learned nothing? How long have you been married? You keep cutting her out. You keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Jenny, someone a lot cleverer than me said that was the definition of insanity. If you don't want to talk to her, that's fine, but at least let me do it. No, no, I'll tell her. I, I promise. So let me do it my way. As long as you do? Yeah, yeah, I will, I will. Listen, love, I'm sorry, I have to go. Bye. He's a sick man, he shouldn't be, so he's not fine. Which means you lied to me. I promise to let him... Tell me, now! Sorry, Jenny, I, I can't. I promised him. And he promised me he'd call you and tell you everything. Do you know what? I went to the factory to invite you round for tea with me and Daisy. Help bring the family together. But you prefer to keep me in the dark. Going off on your own, having secret phone calls behind my back, so no tea for you! Honestly, I've got a brain.